Oh my god. Hey guys, welcome to the awakening. 116. Ah, oh, this ascension is so much fun. If you're letting yourself go through it, then ah, oh, it's ups and downs and madness and yes. But if you're ready, the realizations are just mind-blowing. So today I've come to tell you a little story. And today the story is about it's a wonderful life. And remember Clarence, the angel that comes down to see Jimmy Stewart to teach him um, that he's about his life and how important he is and how, how, how important everything is and synchronicity and that film. And I've got goosebumps because I've had through my meditations and this realization came to me, Clarence, Clarence wanted his wings. He didn't feel like a good enough angel. Oh my God. He didn't feel like a good enough angel. He didn't feel like he got it. He didn't feel like he had done his job. And so he couldn't earn his wings. Does that remind you of anyone? Does that remind you of yourself? Oh my God. I'm so excited about this. I love it. I love it. I love the, the fact that I'm on this roller coaster of madness. So, Clarence, okay? Why did God love send Clarence down to Jimmy Stewart? Why did particular people come into your life at a certain time? Why was it in a pub? Why was Clarence in a pub? He turned up because he probably was an alcoholic and when he was on the planet and had a lot of stuff to learn. But the main lesson he had to learn was that he already has his wings. He already has his wings. There's nothing for him to do. There's nothing for him to learn. And he came there to watch poor Jimmy Stewart, a, a character in It's a Wonderful Life, because he had to be assigned to someone to wake him up inside to his own self-worth. Oh, my God. I don't know why this came to me. I was having a laugh with someone today. They said they were an angel. This is the high spirit that, that is guiding me at the moment through my ascension. There's a few of them, but this is a healer, a healer that pissed me off right, left and center and has forced me to drink loads of water and not to work. <laughs> so this doesn't work. This is fun. Okay, Jan? Anyway, brought me to my knees with all the pain that I've got to go through in order to find out why I'm here. <laughs> but uh, what, this is what I'm saying to you. I've already got my wings. <laughs> so have you, all of you. You just don't know how great you are. And isn't it amazing that the minute I, he said he was an angel, the ego came in and said, oh, my God, I'm an angel. I'm an angel, too. Oh, I must be an angel. Surely I'm an angel. I'm a highest of highest. <laughs> and then suddenly I said to him, I'm Clarence. I'm the funny, silly, crazy loony that comes to save Jim Stewart's life and, and I didn't realize the impact of that sentence until now seven hours later seven hours later as I've got through the day with meditation and figuring stuff out and understanding and drinking my water and doing my healing and shielding myself and everything I'm told to do I suddenly realized the addict that I am and that's why he was in a pub and that's why I'm in the mass of my addictions. Maybe one of them is on here with this hat and changing my wigs around. So what? It doesn't harm me, does it? It's fun. <laughs> I'm having fun with that. Um, I'm off to a, a, a meditation, a light meditation. Acturians and light beings on the meetup after this. So I'm excited about that. But coming back to what I was saying here, don't lose your train of thought, Lauren. I suddenly realized we are all Clarence, all of us, all of us, all of us, every single one of them that is here to heal, that knows what I'm talking about, that is on the ascension path. You are all, you all went through that one way or another, where you didn't realize you already had your wings. Okay, that's it. You just don't see it. You just don't see it because of all the shits and the lies and the messing around, the pain and the suffering. So you, every single one of you, and that's why Clarence, It's a Wonderful Life, must have been created 
by someone very enlightened. Yes, Hollywood must have created some beautiful enlightening films to show you the other side, to show you the truth. And It's a Wonderful Life is about a man that never had any love for himself, um, that, that felt like a complete failure, that wished he was dead. He wished he was dead because he could not do what he felt he was here to do. And so he fucked up, sorry, mucked up everything. That just came out, sorry. And he felt that he was not worth living anymore. He threw him, wanted to throw himself off the bridge. And Clarence turned up and said, I am here because I have to earn my wings, so I have to save your life. Okay, that's how it starts. It starts actually with God saying, you've got to go down there, Clarence, uh, because you, um, I, I want my wings, I want my wings, okay? But God, the intelligence knew, oh my God, I've got goosebumps by doing this. You've already earned your wings. It doesn't matter who you are and what you are. You're all here with the capacity to be anything you want, anything. God, I didn't expect to be saying this. <laughs> the ego is going crazy, like goosebumps and or something's going crazy. So that's what Clarence is, and it's a wonderful life. He came here to understand his own self-worth, to understand how amazing and beautiful and caring he was, and that he was there for Jimmy Stewart, the character that didn't believe in themselves, with so much love. And am I on here now to show, oh, you're so clever, Lauren? Is that the ego? Or am I on here to teach you that you do not need to do anything? You already have your wings. Just, 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 just fly. Fly like Nicholas Hamblin with his skydiving. He corrected me today. <laughs> paragliding. Sorry, not skydiving. Paragliding. Okay? Fly. Fly, do your ascension and fly. And, and my gratitude is to everyone and everything. I'm doing my work. I'm getting there. Please, God. And I wanted to say, I want to correct something in the, the last awakening. If you don't want to be around me, there's none of my business. Because you are probably on a higher vibration than I am in some way. In some way, we are teachers. And I am in some way. And you are in some way. And you know that I can't ascend if you're around me and vice versa. As I said, I gave an example of someone who said they couldn't be around me because they couldn't, because I reminded them too much of, of um, my mom. And that was my sister. And as soon as I moved out of that space, she is able to connect to me. Okay. But now I'm saying this is the codicil. If you, if people feel and they can't be around me or they need me to go, then I'm respecting that. I'm respecting that because they're saying, you know what, I'm here to teach you. So just accept it. And so I am. So I love you all, guys. I love you all. And again, whether this is coming from ego or not, it doesn't matter. I am the opposite to Anna Brown. <laughs> I am here. I'm not as gorgeous as she is. And I can't do what she does. But I'm here to show you the ego and what the ego does. And if this is ego, then I'm grateful that I can say that, but I don't think it is. You know, the realization that Clarence is an, an angel that didn't love himself and, and we are all angels that don't love ourselves, don't understand our own self-worth and we can just spread our wings and I got life. Get what I say? I love you. And please, please go and watch It's a Wonderful Life if you haven't seen it. Or if you won't get what I'm talking about. Bye.